A cannibal coronal mass ejection birthed from multiple solar storms, including a surprise dark eruption, is currently on a collision course with Earth and could trigger a sizable geomagnetic storm on our planet when it hits on Tuesday, July 18. Coronal mass ejections CMEs, are large, fast-moving clouds of magnetized plasma and solar radiation that occasionally get flung into space alongside solar flares, powerful explosions on the sun's surface that are triggered when horseshoe-shaped loops of plasma located near sunspots snap in half like an overstretched elastic band. If CMEs smash into Earth, they can cause geomagnetic storms, disturbances in our planet's magnetic field that can trigger partial radio blackouts and produce vibrant aurora displays much farther away from Earth's magnetic poles than normal. A cannibal CME is created when an initial CME is followed by a second faster one. When the second CME catches up to the first cloud, it engulfs it, creating a single, massive wave of plasma. On July 14, the Sun launched a CME alongside a dark eruption, a solar flare containing unusually cool plasma that makes it look like a dark wave compared to the rest of the Sun's fiery surface from Sunspot AR3370, a small dark patch that until then had gone largely unnoticed, according to spaceweather.com. On July 15, a second, Faster CME was launched from the much larger sunspot AR-3363. Both CMEs came from C-class solar flares, the mid-tier of solar eruption strength. On their own, they would be too weak to trigger significant geomagnetic storms. But their combined size and speed mean they are likely to trigger a G1 or G2 level disturbance, the two highest classes for a geomagnetic storm. Cannibal CMEs are rare because they require successive CMEs that are perfectly aligned and traveling at specific speeds. But there have been several in the last few years.